Hey this is the One Boom and welcome to a short freestyle commentary where I explain to you guys how I met and now hang out with the exclusive ace. Now to start this off, I'm not going to tell his side of it, I don't know exactly how he feels about us hanging out at all, to be honest, I know he enjoys it, obviously. I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it or anything, I'm just saying, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, so Ace basically called me his best friend. Uh, no, it's not like that at all. I'm just explaining to you guys how I met him, because I get asked that a lot, surprisingly, you know, you know how did you meet Exclusive Ace, um, you know, where'd you, how'd you guys meet, you know, why do you hang out and stuff like that, pops up a good amount, so I wanted to answer this, answer this for you. It all started back in Ghosts when Ace was getting really tired of Ghosts in general, and he was doing a lot of Black Ops 2 open lobbies, so... What happened was, I didn't have anyone to play with, and I really wanted to play Black Ops 2, and Ace was one of my favorite YouTubers at the time, and he still is actually, I still enjoy watching his videos, and so I kept joining his uh, open lobbies, I had set a notification on my phone, so every time he would tweet something, whether it was whether it was uh, making a cup of coffee in the morning or streaming now or whatever, anyway, doesn't matter. Anytime you tweet anything, my phone would vibrate and go off. So I wanted to make sure I got into all the open lobbies first or second, at least before everyone else did. And I usually did. I usually was uh, one of the first guys in the open lobby, and I was pretty, I was pretty happy with that. So. I really enjoyed talking to him, I really enjoyed hanging out. First it was like, you know, oh my god, I'm in a lobby with exclusive ace and everything, so uh, I told him I wanted to be a YouTuber, and he was really encouraging and motivational about, you know, yeah, get on that, get on that, sounds like, those sound like cool ideas and stuff, and I was like, I was, I was getting pretty happy with it, to be honest, I, um, every time I'd play, I'd give him an idea that I had for my channel, and he'd be like, uh, yeah, definitely you should you should do that or give me feedback on it or whatever And he also inspired me to be a better player in general like when we would play we do little competitions on who could get to the top of the leaderboard first Or, or the scoreboard of that match and it was really it was a really fun experience because I don't have a cool uh, Consensual competitive thing with anyone in a while which I used to with some of my friends But they took it too personally or you know, I didn't like them so I took it too personally or something and I, it just kind of it didn't work out, but with Ace, I could be like, hey, guess what? I'm going to be on top of this scoreboard at the end of the game. And he'd be like, mm-mm, girlfriend. And then we'd go back and forth and see who could get to the top of the scoreboard. He usually always won, because I had I actually, re he got me back into playing Call of Duty. A um, little, little bit more backstory, I didn't, I didn't play Call of Duty for months before I uh, decided to hang out with him. So anyway... After doing this for a long time and becoming a part of his some of his live challenges that he was doing and some of his videos in, uh, in general, I started making a little name for myself. People started asking, you know, who's that one boom guy? And so Ace introduced me. And then when Advanced Warfare came out and I got my Xbox One, Ace and I started working. Well, Ace started working on Maps Exposed for Advanced Warfare, and he wanted my help to demonstrate lines of sight um, and cool little jump spots. And I actually helped him found, uh, find some of those spots. And we have a really good relationship because I help, I helped him with some uh, little things. He helped me in a way bigger way. I wish I could repay him for all the subscribers he got me from giving me shout outs and encouraging me. And he's been, he's been really nice. He's helped me out a lot. Um, he helped me get partnered. At least he walked me through the process and reassured me on things. And anyway, really nice guy. We've been, I consider us good friends. I have not met him in person yet. Uh, I live in uh, Idaho in the United States and he lives in Alberta, Canada. Uh, he'd be a good seven, eight hour drive, maybe nine hours, I don't know. He'd be a good drive away from um, where I live. Uh, he's 24 and I'm 17, but he says I'm mature for, I, for my age and between me and you guys, uh, he's kind of juvenile for his age. So we get along pretty nicely and we, we have fun hanging out. So anyway, I hope that clears it up for you guys. Um, maybe you guys won't ask as much, you know, how did you meet? How why do you guys hang out? You know, it's just, we enjoy hanging out with each other. We enjoy playing games together. It's as simple as that. Uh, I do consider him a friend and a colleague of sorts. And in my line of work, a colleague is nice to have. So 
Anyway, I'm being a little pretentious, but whatever. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I will see you when I see you. I hope this clears, again, I hope this clears everything up. Leave a comment down below if you have any uh, projects Ace and I could do or any video ideas Ace and I could do. Because I think he's going to have a little bit more time now that he's moved into his house. Nothing guaranteed. But if you guys have any ideas on something we could do, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And share this video with Ace so he knows that he's juvenile. Because I'm pretty sure someone's going to do that anyway. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. See you when I see you. Two outros. That's how I do it. Goodbye.